What is up YouTube? Back with another video, finally. Um, I don't know. I've picked up quite a bit, but honestly I've kind of just been reading and putting them away and <laughs> forgetting to show some uploads, but I did get some stuff in the mail, some um, auction winnings, so I figured I would take some of the stuff I've bought over the weeks and then just put it all in one little quick video. Um, I know tomorrow's new comic book day and I'm going to get even more stuff, but um, that stuff can wait. So let's just jump right into it. Nothing too crazy. Um, one thing um, I'm absolutely ecstatic to get, but um, let's get into it. First off, we got The Shadow and the Batman number three. Um, haven't read this series yet, but um, probably going to be one of the last miniseries I buy. Um, I might stop buying the little six issue miniseries. Just because I end up buying them in hardcover, so I don't know if I'm going to keep double dipping. Next, we got Nightwing. Um, finally, they got rid of the Rebirth banner, which is kind of cool. I liked the Rebirth banner. I know a lot of people didn't. Um, I didn't have a problem with it, but I did pick up Nightwing number 34. And once again, he's falling. I swear, Nightwing is like always falling on his covers. Next, um, this one, even if they come out with like 30 crossovers between Batman and TMNT, I will always buy uh, the miniseries just because the first one was is still one of my favorite, if not my favorite, crossovers or miniseries. Um, I have it in the singles and in hardcover, which I think I'll keep both. But um, this one I haven't read yet, but um, I'm excited. And it's just a great, great crossover. Uh, next up... Batman 36, um, I feel like it was a filler issue. I did read this, but um, it was cool. It was all right. I mean, I feel like there's going to be a little plot twist at the end, but we'll see. Um, this one, I do like the Batman logo. I think the red really matches. And that is the A cover. And then we got the B cover, which I'm not too fond of. But um, I do pick up all the A and B covers of Batman. Um, Super Sun's Annual number 1. I'm a couple issues behind. Um, I'm thinking of stopping uh, the series, but I don't know, just because I am a Damian Wayne fan, so we'll see. Uh, Batman Creature of the Night. This story was good. It was kind of hard for me to read. I didn't really like the lettering and the wording, um, the style of it. I mean, it wasn't like it was confusing to read, but just the styling I didn't really like. But um, I think there's three books in total, and I will probably pick up all three. Um, Doomsday Clock, I did go to the premiere at my LCS, I think it was, what is that, two, three weeks ago. Um, I don't think I'll buy all 12 issues. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a lot. I think I don't know if they're all five bucks, but if they are, that's, you know, $60, and I'll probably still buy it in hardcover, so I think I'm just going to buy issue number one. I haven't read it. Um, I heard it's really good, though, so I'll probably just wait till the whole story comes out. Um, then up here on the left, we got Redneck. I don't even know what number this was, but it was, um, like a, was it a charity? I don't know if it's a charity or donation thing, but every issue they sold, I don't know if a hundred percent of the proceeds, but they did donate to the Hurricane Relief Fund in Houston. So I did pick up that. I thought that was a pretty cool, um, little thing they did. Then we got Batman Detective Comics 969. I did catch up on this series. And I'm glad uh, Tim Drake is back. And then last but not least, we did get Gotham City Garage number four. Um, if anyone knows how many issues this is supposed to go, please let me know. If it's gonna, I don't think it's going to be an ongoing title. Um, but by the looks of it, it is. And I don't know if I want to keep buying it. But um, I'm enjoying it. I just don't know. I kind of want to cut back on my pull list. So if anyone knows what the expected run is please let me know. And then next, what I am super ecstatic to get um, is my first CGC uh, yellow label with Lee Bermejo. Um, I'm sure you guys hear me talk about him all the time. He is my favorite artist. Um, and this one I didn't really mean to win. Um, it was coming to the end. I threw out a bid that I was comfortable paying. It was less than $30. So a 9.6 Suicide Squad uh, signed by Lee Bermejo. I will take it every day. So super ecstatic about that. That's going right up on my wall um, 
first Felipe Mejo CGC. And then before we get into this next one, I do have two other comics to show. Um, on Alex the Comic Quarters, I think he streams it, and then there's Comic Holics, and uh, there's two other people, the Doom, and I am sorry I'm forgetting the fourth person, but um, they were doing their auctions. I did win this off of Comic Holics. Um, they did. Th I think they threw in these other two comics, or if the bid got to a certain um, amount, they put these in. So this first one is Civil War. Uh, Secret Wars number one variant edition, which is just a dope cover because you see Spider-Man coming in the reflection of Iron Man's helmet. And then they also put in Uncanny Avengers number one uh, Hastings variant, which I'm pretty sure all the Hastings closed down or they got bought out. I think they all closed down, so there's no more Hastings variants. But what I was bidding on was Captain America 25, uh, CGC 9.6. Uh, let me put that in the center. And that is when Sam Wilson, that's not even the center, when Sam Wilson takes over as Captain America. Um, to be honest, I, I kind of just wanted to win something, and um, I do want to step up my CGC game, and um, I do want to branch out into other Marvel comics. I do know I'm like 99.9% .9 DC, but it's nice to have a first appearance, not a first appearance, but kind of a key book in a CGC um, it is white pages. Unfortunately, it's not a 9.8, but for the price I paid, it was crazy, um, crazy cheap. And they did free, I think it was priority two-day mail shipping too. So that was pretty awesome of them. But, um, that's it. I know I kind of talked a little fast, but, um, that is a little, almost everything I picked up. I picked up a lot of like pulls, my weekly hauls, my weekly pulls. Um, but that is pretty much all I'm going to show because everyone knows it's mostly just the Bat Family books. But stay tuned to the end of this video. Um, there is one book that, unfortunately, um, I'm not going to be able to pick up. And um, you'll see why at the end of this video. I, I could go on a little side rant about it, but I'm just going to let you guys see what happened and um, what book it was. So, yeah, just stay tuned to the very end of this video, which is right now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and always, always have a great day.